folks, Arizona guy here. It is June 1st, 2022. Another day in the Biden-Harris America. So what's happening today, folks? Anything interesting out there in the world? In Phoenix, Arizona, right now it is 99 degrees. Very nice day. It's a little warm, but there's no breeze today, which makes it seem hotter than it is. So anyway, I got some good news. So Sean, the pool guy, the installer from today's pools, came over yesterday and installed my new pool filter. So I got the pool up and running. So I'll put a picture here of what it looked like in the beginning, a 50 year old sand filter. And over here, I will put up the new filter, what it looks like. Brand new, 300 pounds of sand in it. And of course, I waited overnight and everything for all the glue to dry. And went out there today and turned it on. sweep and I, the old filter was putting sand back into the pool so when I get home from work tonight I got to go out there and sweep the sand towards the center drain and hopefully it will pick it up but Sean is a great guy today's pools did a great job So I'm very happy with the new pool filter installation. It is fabulous. So I was glad he got that done yesterday. Poor guy did it all by himself. Took that old sand filter and cut it all up with a Sawzall dropped the sand out of it and hauled it away. Fabulous job, so thanks Sean. Now I've got the appliance guy coming tomorrow to find out what's wrong with the electric dryer. But I already know it's probably the heating element. And if it costs too much, I will just go buy another dryer. So that's what's going on today, folks. And I was reading an article this morning over on the Gateway Pundit. And that article says that 4,000 4, migrants crossed over the U.S.-Mexico border just on Memorial Day weekend. Four thousand. That is completely asinine that we as United States citizens do not have a secure southern border on our country. 4,000 people just came across the border, folks. Since Biden's been president, the number is literally 
in the hundreds of thousands of people who have came across that border. Absolutely unheard of numbers. Folks, we do not have a border. We have an opening. And no matter who it is, they're from Iran, they're from El Salvador, they're from Haiti, they're from Cuba. Folks, they are from all over the world. And they are just walking right across that border and entering the United States. It is utterly appalling that we as Americans do not have a secure border. Unbelievable. Another thing that's unbelievable, folks, is I hope that more and more of you are turning off Fox News. Folks, Fox, Fox News has basically been taken over. Robert Murdoch, the guy that owns Fox News, is basically a Democrat. He will not allow any mention of 2,000 mules to air on Fox News. It is utterly appalling. And the reason for that is political correctness, folks. The owners and managers of Fox News want to make money with Fox News. They want to have advertisers such as Jared's, The Jewelry Place, Lexus, Mercedes-Benz, Rolex watches. They want to be able to have advertisers that pay big money to advertise on Fox News. And these advertisers will not like it one bit if Fox News talks about 2,000 mules or voter fraud or voting system manipulation of any type. So Fox News is utterly um, colluding with the other major news organizations such as CNN and MSNBC, ABC, CBS. They want to keep their big money advertisers. So they don't want to talk about voting machines, voting fraud, 2,000 mules, nothing. But folks, there is a huge ballot harvesting case in Yuma County, Arizona, which is happening right now. And largely, that's what 2,000 mules was based on. And then they went from there to here to there, so on and so forth. But ballot trafficking and ballot harvesting is an absolutely huge deal. But see, the media outlets don't want to report on any of that because they will lose their big dollar advertisers. And they cannot risk it, folks. They got to have that money. So anyway, folks, that's what I got for you today. Remember, please subscribe, give the video a like, and as always, have a wonderful day, and please leave comments.
All right, folks. Arizona guy.